Welcome back to another video. It is our weekly project update of everything we got going on. And I'd like to sit in and lie to you and tell you this ain't going to be a long video, but why lie? Y'all should know me better than that. I can tell y'all every time it's a 10 minute video. Y'all know that means it's going to be an hour, 10 minutes. That's why I put chapters in it. There's no reason to complain. For those who complain, it's falling on deaf ears. I don't know to tell you. Um, I mean, a lot of projects, a lot of stuff to cover this week. There's several things going on and I want to cover it all. That's why I put chapters in this thing and y'all can skip around. If y'all don't care about a certain project, y'all can skip to the next project and different things like that. But people ask questions and if I don't, if I don't go into it enough, they ask questions or they hit me up and stuff like that. So I feel I'm doing a disservice by skipping over or talking too fast about certain projects. Some projects, we're going to be just the same rinse and repeat. So I might not spend a lot of time on that. So, and for those who come for it, love it or hate it, there will be a rant in this video. I took some deep breaths. Fortunately, I haven't had anything to drink yet. That could be a bad thing, a good thing, but um, I'm pissed off. So, and if any of y'all have known me for longer than six months, y'all know exactly what that's going to be about. So one of the first things you'll notice is that you don't see all these icons around here anymore. I'm trying to keep it just as a quick thing to show you what I'm really, really supporting this week. Um, if I, as quick as I jumped into the meme thing, I'm out of it. Watching Kulo and Big Red fall like they fell hurt bad. I was up huge in Kulo and I drank the Kool-Aid and I was all about how great it was going to be and everything. And I'm going to tell you, they are still out there pushing it hard. And it goes to show you some of these meme coins, it doesn't matter how much you're spending on advertising and social media stuff and how many people are pushing it. And they got billboards all over the place in Vegas and Cancun and all these parties they did and everything like that. I'm assuming that when people are done, they're done. So I got out of, um, Kulo. I don't know what it was. Two hundred dollars. I can't even keep. I, I keep horrible, horrible notes. Two hundred dollars, maybe three hundred dollars, and I, I still five x, six x, somewhere around there. I can't complain about it at all. But when it was at its peak, I was really, really up there, and it was it it, it felt good that I finally picked the meme coin right, and then it fell. So we know, you know, we know it went up and it was up to this four zeros and a four, almost four zeros and a five. And it was exciting to open up my portfolio and see them numbers. I'm not going to lie to you. And it has just hit the downward spiral. That was March 14th. And it has just kept going down and down and down and down. And that's it. So I cashed out half of it um, Saturday, you know, somewhere around here. And then I cashed a little bit more as it came up. I still have some in it. I, I'm still, I haven't completely given up the fight yet. Big Red's another one. Big Red had a big burn yesterday also. And it was, when it was up here, you know, I bought it at 0 .00002, right at two. I was there for when he released it, and, you know, it it, it looked good. I, I thought I picked another one, put a couple of hundred dollars in this one at 0 .00002. I was up 77%, and I was, I was pretty happy. Cashed out half of it Saturday night. Saturday night, somewhere around here. So I was up to 200. No, it was higher than point. It was higher than five fives and five. But anyway, I, I made some money. Y'all know if y'all been watching this video at all, if, 
any of these videos at all, I have been trying to build a computer so I can start doing this stuff at home with a better computer instead of the one I use now. And I want to do a full YouTube studio, be able to have a workbench that I can tinker with some of these passive income projects. I want to do all that. I'm in the middle of converting that at my house right now. And this, by cashing that out, gave me the abilities to buy more. I don't have all of it yet. This computer, I must be losing my mind with what I'm putting in it. DDR5 RAM at, at you know, 6,000 speed or 6,400 or something like that with a i9-13900 processor, if y'all know anything about that. Video card, it's gonna be about $800 I'm putting in it. So I'm not skimping at all on it. I wanna do this now, do it right, and I have to worry about it in the future. So me cashing out the profits has been, has been able to allow me to do that. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin had a, a, a hard fall this morning and people as usual, lost their minds and it fell down to about 68,000. And I'm, I'm actually literally seeing people say the bear market's back. I told y'all there's no bull market. Y'all out here, da, 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 all this stuff like that. And you know what? It, it was no different. It was last Monday right here. Week before that, week before that. And, and look, when you zoom out, when in doubt, zoom out, as they say, it ain't that bad. You know, $70,000. We still haven't hit the, the halving yet. You know, Ethereum kind of did the same thing. Ethereum did the same thing when it was last Friday, last Wednesday before that. People are just losing their minds. And I think it's, you know, is it all this talk that, that, um, I'm gonna tell y'all, all my big red, I didn't use any of the computer stuff. I'm, I love AVAX so much that I love AVAX so much that when I cashed out my big red, my big red sitting in AVAX. That's one thing I can tell y'all. Um, I needed some cash to buy some stuff. I used some of my big, my, my cooler for that, but my big red that I cashed about 50% of it, then another 15, 20%. I'm so big into AVAX this, this upcoming bull run. I wanted to load up on that AVAC. So that was several, several, several hundred dollars I was able to roll into AVACs. So, hey, it might be down a little bit because I did that Saturday night, you know, but I was down a dollar. All right, so what y'all came to watch this video for and watch me rant? First thing, one of the news I want to discuss is I was sent this today. Karma. Paging Karma, Karma, please come in. I have so many words that part of me says it's not worth my breath or my precious oxygen, but why stop now? You know, I, I know, I know the routine by now. I know the game. I know how this is going to work out. I, I know that there is an excuse that has been developed to explain why somehow this is not their fault at all. This is X's fault. It's a misunderstanding or they changed something. And this is why, you know, it doesn't, and it doesn't prove anything. I disagree, but who am I? The countless games that, that are constantly going on. We're still waiting for the March 1st exchange. We're still waiting for the imminent announcement from Coinbase that they were going to start carrying stuff. Now they got this. Now I can't post anything. I can't post any of this stuff that I have screenshots of because y'all know with this project, if you say anything negative, if anybody on YouTube says anything negative, they file copyright violations with YouTube. I'm not going to make this whole video about this whole thing. Y'all, if y'all want to know anything about any of that previous stuff, go back and look at my previous videos. My D slime video is still probably my number one trending video on my channel. Everything on it still applies. Every time there's any kind of hiccup at all, there's always a new announcement that comes out. Anytime they need more money, there's a new announcement comes up. Uh, they made a deal with Walmart. You still can't find a single shred of evidence, but hey, y'all come on and, and buy, these, buy these new stations and stuff like that. Now, what's the newest thing? 
because they can't control all these people that have these coins that constantly quit. Now they're coming up with a new, new, new coin called Fly. Now, before we all had the B BSC version of their tokens, and what happened was you had to be still part of the project to get that converted to base because they moved everything to base. Well, we threw hell about that, and that's when I got out because they said if you weren't still part of the project, you weren't going to be able to convert your coins from BSC to base. And that's when I had enough of the games. Now what they're doing is you have to, and this again is in, I got screenshots of it. I just can't show it, but you also can't get into the discord unless you promise that you will never ever talk bad about DFly. And if you ever post anything that's posted, they'll come after you with charges. That sounds like a project y'all really need to get involved in, but the new coin called Fly that they're trying to do a pre-sale for, you have to be a current participant in their project because all these coins you have, DFly, DSky, D Day Cars, D Charge, all these different goofy coins, you you'll be able to convert them for DFly and be able to cash them out on an exchange or on some kind of liquidity pool or something like that. Even though we've heard that before about all those other ones, that's the whole reason they went to base. But now, so now if you got, if you had enough of these shenanigans with DFly and last week you quit and you have a million dollars of any million, I'm sorry, a million worth of any of those tokens, you cannot trade them for DFly, for Fly, F-L-I, Fly, because you're not part of the project because it distinctly says the screen now this could change tomorrow, but the screenshot I have from their announcement page distinctly says you have to use their wallet to exchange your other coins for fly. And then fly will have its own pool that you can cash out. So the people like me who have a million of D fly, a million of D sky and whatever else I still got somewhere, and anybody else, anybody else who's never spoken a, a bad word or anything, everything y'all did, all the money y'all spent is now worthless. Can y'all imagine if y'all were GPU mining Ethereum and because y'all decided that or Bitcoin mining with ASICs and y'all decided, hey, the electricity wasn't worth no more. I don't feel like mining it no more. Or Ethereum found out y'all were talking negative about them in some forum somewhere. And then y'all can't cash out your Ethereum anymore because that is exactly what's happening here. People can attack me all they want. People who are still defending this project can attack me all they want, but that is what's happening. It's schoolyard bullying at its finest. Anybody can come tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. My issue is we have several of us have spent good money on host licenses that hosts were running these invisible stations that they still can't show pictures of to this day. I've spent $1,500 in licenses for D fly. I mean, D sky and day cars machines. And I don't get a single reward anymore for it because one guy got pissed off and cut me off. Look, you don't want to let me in the discord or you don't, you don't want to let people in the discord. That's fine. But one person makes a decision that, that, you get cut off, but it what's it matter. You can't, you know, September, there was supposed to be an exchange, September, something, then in October, then another month, then February was coming. Then March, it was coming. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. All right, I'm done. And this image is from Twitter. So before anybody tries to file a complaint with YouTube, this is off Twitter, not off anything else. And anybody can see it. So, before anybody gets an idea of trying to do another strike against my channel, this is from Twitter. All right, we wasted way too much time on that. I know people say I need to leave that alone, but I'm just, I'm, I just feel that it, I have to warn people. I warn them. People still want to get involved in them. Go ahead. I'm not, I'm not going to bash you. You want to try it? Go try it. I have no problem with it. But I feel better. I know I have warned people. I have proof to back up everything. Many people do. We're done with it. All right, let's talk about our passive income projects for the past seven days. It's been rough. It's been rough. It's been rough. Demo. 
I will still say this is number one for me because even though you can't get the demo products, I'm sorry for that. It's hard. It, it does. It is hard for me to sit and tell you how it's number one and y'all can't get the stuff for it. Demo has also had kind, kind of a price hit. So, um, so in the last seven days, we had, um, we were up to 49 cents, 50 cents last week. We're down to 42. Hey, the whole market is down. We just saw that. We went over that in the beginning. I don't blame Demo for this. Demo can't control this. All I can tell you is that still, they just work. They're great. They're wonderful. Same thing you've heard me say in the last three weeks in a row. You plug them in. You got them synced up to your app. I have them plugged into my family's vehicles. They don't ever have to worry about them. They ain't got to deal with them. They work. But there's nothing more I need to say about it. Um, rewards are staying about the same. Rewards appear to be down a little bit, but that's only because the price of each demo is down. So, Last two, three weeks, I've made 15 per device um, on each on each demo thing. Um, I made like 45 the week before or something like that. Now I'm making 42 total between my three devices. I have ROI'd on all three of my devices. 76,000 cards are connected. That's, that's a 3,000 increase. In the past several weeks, though, when you saw this video, they were doing 5,000 each time. Is the reason it's 3,000 this week, first time we've seen a decrease, is it because there's no supply? Nobody can get them in. So maybe that's why. I'm kind of wondering how are they getting 3,000 cars connected or 5,000? Let's see what it looked last week. Last week was 5,000 cars connected. The week before that, 5,000 cars connected. How, how are they all getting connected if nobody, unless they're just coming in from orders in December, January? I, I don't know. But as you can see, I, I got 14 demo per device for a week. That ended up being um, two demo a day. So that's end up being 84 cents per day of what this is running. Again, I'm not sweating that. Beginning a bull market. Still, you don't have to deal with it. To not have to deal with it, it's ROI and whatever happens. And then not only that, but in a couple of weeks, when I get to level three, I understand from what I've read, what I've been told, what I've seen in videos, those rewards will go up even more. Apparently, after you've hit like week 16, that this thing's been there, the reward's supposed to go crazy. Now, that's also before all these miners are going online. Again, I'm not sweating it right now because I have I don't have to worry about anything. Helium is helium. You have heard me say it before, nothing to say, you know, that much again. I spent too much time on this other rant, but helium, I'm still making about 7,000 a day. Um, it might've went down just a tad because I had a monitor go offline. That was my own fault with something with the network, running the VLAN. I shut the VLAN off and didn't realize it. That's on my own network. That was my issue, but it, it's still averaging 7,000 a day. However, Demo is down 18 and a half percent since our meeting our video last monday you've you're seeing where it was you know one six somewhere around there it's come down which drops our rewards i'm not concerned with it again we've had a dip in the crypto market and you know still making nine dollars a day and i have been converting that to soul but I've recently started changing that to h &T, just over the last two or three days. Why? This is the monthly chart. You know, h &T at one time was almost $10. It's at five now. I still look, look, I mean, who knows? I could be wrong. If, I could be wrong for everything in this bull cycle. But mobile's not going anywhere. I can say I was wrong. I can say it's not wrong. You know, it's maybe still too early to tell. I didn't get into it. I'm not that bullish on it, but there are a lot of places that are bullish on it. And this big, I talk about it every week, the Mexico deal with what they're getting um, on the mobile side with with that going on, that's going to that's gonna affect A&T. Not, may, not maybe the IoT side of pricing, 
but I still think helium can go up a decent, very, very good. I don't want to throw no price numbers out there, but I mean, if this ever gets back to all time high again of forty dollars, I'll still hold a good amount of helium. I still owe a good amount, hold a good amount of IoT. In the past, I've also converted my IoT to mobile. Mobile's down 20% in seven days. But what I want to show you is y'all saw what the other ones were down for a month. This is actually up 7% a month. Now, it, it was just perfect that that's where it started at, and you see where it was at. You know, but at one time, this was at 0 0.006, almost 0 0.007. That's almost a penny. And when you think of when this started, how many zeros it had. Now, one thing I, I do see right here is, and I know y'all probably can't see that. I, I have not backed this up at all. I don't know if these numbers are completely pulling it out of this guy's butt, but he says 70,000 customers in four months. So it's growing. That mobile's got to get used. A lot of it's off of T-Mobile's back, but as 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 this gets used, um, you're gonna see H and T get it reflected also. So that's just something I want you to keep in mind about that. Now, when I talk about these projects, do I would I go buy or invest in any more of this? Of this, I, this is me talking. None of this video is financial advice. This is just me as I invest into these some of these projects. I'm not investing anything more in the infrastructure side of helium. Now, you want to throw a curveball in here with bit harvest. If I saw a helium, certain helium miners, sense caps, gold MNTDs on eBay, super duper duper cheap, I, I would probably buy it just because. I can run helium in addition to wing bits, in addition to the passive income, which we're going to talk about all that a little bit later in this video. I'm talking about super cheap though. I'm not spending over 75 or hundred dollars on those devices because when you figure out what $9 a day is, you know, I, I don't want to lie to you. I, I downloaded all my IOT for the day. So I can't tell you exactly how many miners I have online right now. I want to say it's 23, 24, maybe a little bit less. When you take $9 a day and you divide it by that, you're making 40, 50 cents a day. I, I'm not at 40, 50 cents a day at these prices right now. You're taking a decent amount of time to pay off a $100 miner. That's just the facts of it. But if you already have helium and you have it unplugged for no reason, there's to me, if you had the home, like I know people, the reason I bring this up, I know people who still make smart ass comments in some of these discords I'm in, Facebooks I'm in, forums I'm in about screw helium. I have it unplugged. It's trash. If you got all the stuff set up, you're the idiot. There's no reason why you shouldn't have it turned on and you do what I do. Right now, I'm converting my stuff to soul into H and T. You hate helium that much? Just convert it into soul. Because if soul goes anywhere close to the price they're predicting this bull market, you you're gonna be quadrupling five X and all your money. And just think, every day you're converting that IOT over. I'm trying to stay positive here on some of these things. And while I don't like the way helium has been treated in the past, I still think there is a good future for for helium itself there i know some of y'all just passed out but it is what it is moving on to weather xm you know this one boils down to one thing when mainnet and i, I say this I, I know regurgitates on this stuff every time i know i'm newer into this project so i can't complain um as much as people who have been patiently waiting some not as patiently for the past year or two that they've been in this project and asking that same question when main net um i've made 150 coins which don't mean nothing because they've said the coins they're issuing right now is just testing things it's test net when main net starts those coins are wiped out so i don't know if that's going to be what the actual rewards are 3.4 per day i will say that there's the app has been redone 
I find it, I find it a little more clumsier to kind of look at um, to see when, like how you were connected over the, the past seven days. But it's showing me for the last seven days, 100% connected. I, I, I about fell backwards in my chair because y'all know one of my main issues with weather XM over the last two, three, four weeks was that when you look back is I had only 100% for four days. Even though I never touched this thing, it's sideways with the antenna sticking up. So I got to check the weather like this. Three days, it was 60%, 70% because it disconnects. Nobody's touching it. Nothing's going in between where that is and, and, and the miner on top or the weather station on top of the roof. You know, the week before that, 3.4 day, uh, 100% only for four days. So here's another positive thing. Y'all catch yourself before y'all fall backwards. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say three positive things about three projects in a row. I've been 100% for seven days. God bless America. Um, it, it shows the weather. I can't complain. 77.5 degrees. We got rain coming through the night. Another cold front's coming. Feel sorry for people who did landscaping early again. One thing Weather XM did post in their Discord is a video rightly called When WXM. And as the comments say, did I miss the part where he answered when going to mainnet? And he didn't. He talks about how they try to they try and do another round of, of now they're trying to do another round of fundraising. Apparently the money ain't coming in like they thought it was gonna be. I, I don't know. But then he talked about how every month they think they're getting closer, then something comes up, which is funny because two, three weeks ago, now reported in here that they said they were ready for mainnet. They were just doing some finalizations with a current customer, and then they wanted to get that done, and then they'd be ready for mainnet. It's not what he says in this video. So I'll have a link in the description for this video, if y'all want to see what's going on with Weather XM. Again, I'm going to end on the positive. I like the weather. I'm a weather nerd. The thing works. And I've been 100% for seven days. Just need to start getting paid. Listen, I'm going to say this again. I say this every video. I'm going to say it right now. I'm not in this for Lambos. I tell everybody that I'm not in this for Lambos. People think that because I want to get paid for Weather XM, I'm looking for Lambos. No, I am in crypto and I want to help people be successful in crypto to give themselves a more comfortable life so that you can do stuff with your family, with your kids, with your grandkids, or if you're about to, you're going to be having kids and you want to have a nest egg ready. I'm not looking for Lambos. I'm looking just to be able to live comfortably that if my family wants to go out to a trip this weekend, they're out of school all week. I would have loved to be going on a vacation with them. Can't afford it. Not with stuff going on in the world today. That's why I want crypto after this bull market. I want to be able to pay off my son's vehicle or my daughter's vehicle because now my daughter needs a vehicle she's gonna be turning 16 later this year um and yeah help me please help me <laughs> um but there's nothing wrong with wanting to get we're in crypto projects we're not here to dedicate our time and we want to do this for what's best for the project we are in crypto projects what does crypto projects mean we want to be paid in crypto we want to help support the network, yes, but we want to be paid for that support. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't have to be Lambo type money. But in my and y'all excuse that rant. I'm sorry, but it's just I'm sick of people who because people ask when mainnet, it's like, oh, you're looking for your Lambos, huh? No. You know, it we want to get paid, it's crypto. That's all this to it. So hopefully WeatherXM can get that done, you know. They have a following and how long does that following keep holding on for? I don't know, but right now they still have a following and they need to kind of get that in gear while they have this following behind them. All right. Next is going to be sword chain modus. I'm up to 13, 1,314 tokens. I'm still mining at a 100%. I made 152 tokens last week. Still ain't got time to even mess with the staking through the app yet. That's on me. I have a question mark right here just because there's no talk, unless I missed it, but I've been through the Discord. 
No talk of any kind of mainnet anytime soon. There is some news going on with it, though. One thing is, I know the, the people asking about an airdrop. We've talked before about an airdrop. Um, so they, they've talked about it, but don't know anything more about the airdrop. I like to pretend like I understand all this and, and can can explain it to you, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Y'all know that. But basically, there's a new major up major update, um, Horizon Horizon expansion, um, brink of some V3 migration with our Horizon expansion scheduled for this block. Major update, and then you can read this, and I, I read it and. Is sword mint enhancements epoch module introduction? I, 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 this, this is Greek to me. I like to sit and pretend, and I hope nobody takes my channel away from me. But I don't understand what it is. I just want the, the thing to work more consistently. I know that they've also started some kind of ambassador program. Again, like all these projects, you have to be in a Discord. I've had people tell me how they're not in Discord. And with passive income projects, especially the ones we talk about, ladies and gentlemen, I know some people are very anal about security and different stuff like that, but it's it's one of these necessary evils that you're going to have to be a part of. All these projects, everything is discussed in Discord. So get into these Discords and make sure you're following everything going on with them. So, you know, I'm collecting my modus. It, it, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, I will say that if anybody saw my initial videos of problems with tethering and stuff, I find that that has gotten a lot more smoother. I don't have a lot of the issues I had before. My issue I have is that there are times when I get in the vehicle, I got to start the, I, on my phone, I have to start the pass of the Wi-Fi on the phone hotspot every time it says it's connected i then go into the modus app if the modus app was already running it will not give me the two green lights saying they're both connected will not do it i have to force close the app and then do it and then open it up again it takes about 10 15 seconds to get the two green lights i'm not going to just rehash this out every every week y'all know how i feel about it many of y'all have voiced the same concerns they need to do something about this connectivity thing. I don't understand why if I have a hotspot in my car, it can't just automatically connect to that and do what it's got to do, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm going to talk about grass real quick. I did not update those numbers on grass because I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know why I'm losing patience for this. I keep having people who I trust tell me, just hold on, just hold on. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. When you look at these rewards, they're all over the place and i might have had one or two laptops that have crashed or something like that but at one time i had like six or eight computers on it i've had several people in the last week tell me they got the same thing happening where all of a sudden like this one i had 1900 points yesterday all in referrals are you telling me that all my computers all my computers were disconnected same thing with this one this one I had network on. So my referrals that have been hitting 5,000, 5,000, 6,000, 4,800. Just uh, only get 114. And what does that mean in the long run? Because we, we still keep going back to, you know, this is my Epoch 13 refer um, earnings and stuff like that. We, we sit here and, and you see, normally I would add all this up. This epoch ends April 9th, but we, we're, in, we're in grass. We're still mining it, but I don't know where we at with, with anything else. All right, another Discord talked about that they are, there were some back end issues and it doing a big network upgrade and those type of things like that. But that's basically it. You know, I hate showing the, the regular general because it is so toxic and septic and, you know, It's just the same questions over and over and over again. Um, I don't know. 
on the on the official announcements page. It still has not been an update since May, March 18th, where they warned people about a scam phishing email that went around. Um, nothing about mainnet or anything like that. So I, I don't know what's going on with it. I wish I had more for y'all. I really do. Because I feel bad that, that it seems like every week with grass, the same thing. As long as my, my laptops are, are mining it, I'll continue to do it. I've told y'all before that once it goes complete, full mainnet, and actually using the data and doing all sorts of what we're doing, I'm going to re-evaluate everything then. We'll see how that goes. All right. So, Natix, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to say something positive about these projects, but it, it's they shoot themselves in the foot. Natix changed their way of tokenomics and rewards. Even though they, they had this $100 billion increase, you're now rewarded differently and people are losing their minds about it. This was even discussed with the CEO of Natix on Twitter that you'll earn drastically less points for driving emissions. This is to minimize the gap between monthly point earnings and in-app Natix rewards. The leaderboard rankings and monthly rewards are not affected at all as all users earn lower points sim similar. Your rewards, whatever. And people talking about their points disappearing. There are a lot of people discussing how um, there are still people out there getting thousands and hundreds of thousands of points. And people who are driving a lot aren't getting all that. So I really don't want to comment too much on all this stuff because it there are spots on this Discord where they talk about how the team's aware of some issues and people are still getting thousands of tokens somehow when they're not supposed to be. So I, I don't know what's going on with it. You know, I, I'm going to continue driving with it. I talked about it last week. This is not just me that feels this way. Um, but like this right here, this is, this is complete BS because when I was riding around earlier, you know, 370 kilometers, but when you had 874 events, I have I would have had 874 points. You're getting like a point for every event. I, I I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. What I was getting at was see this this is what it, instead of instead of you getting thousands and ten thousands and twenty thousand for a trip, you're getting basically one per and even this, I don't understand how this is this how this is capable of this. I don't know what's going on with Natix right now. Um I read through it all before, you know, do a little homework before this thing. And like this guy's complaining, he did 44 kilometers with only five points and five events. You've had this person who did less, 10 less kilometers who got way more, unless this was a busier highway. Um, I don't know what's going on with it. This is another project we talked about that. This isn't just me. This is what several people have said is we're trying to get into passive income projects. And when you have to keep turning stuff on and off, you know, at least with Hive Mapper, as far as I know, the camera's on when you start driving around, stuff like that. This thing you got to set up and everything. Hey, we signed up for it, you know. Um, but how long do people keep doing these projects like this when they're not getting any kind of compensation? I don't want to start the whole rant again. But again, this is another one that's in test net. If you want to say that no talk of a main net anytime soon. Silencio, unfortunately I got to start lumping that into them because they're basically got the same thing going on right now because these two projects have merged. Yes. I am still, you know, I'm sitting there eating dinner at the ballpark. I'm running my Silencio. Silencio really hasn't had any announcements either. They got this, spring madness thing that started or something like that um it ran to april 1st with venue check-ins I, I don't know what venues are because it doesn't tell you on the map there's supposed to be a way of telling you if there was venues around you but I, I i don't know i don't know if that's stadiums nfl stadiums different things like that but to me there should be something that says or you can see on the map what a venue is or is the fact that i don't have any in the way around me that's why i don't see them on the map but 
I mean, we have like um like civic centers and different things like that where they can hold plays and um theaters and stuff like that where they hold live plays and which is a venue. We have stadiums here for sporting events. None of those show up as as venues. So I'd like to know at some point what venues are. But Silencio, like I said, I'm still running it, but there's not really that much news on it. I don't know what, what again, they'll have to be in these, these discords and stuff like that, but it's just another project that you just keep messing with, you keep messing with, hoping that one day it pays off. That, that's, all, that's all you can hope for. So I am up to rank 2163. I am on a 64-day streak right now, which is giving me 160% bonus every time I do this. So I'm doing it two or three times a day different places and stuff like that but moving on wing bits not much being said on wing bits um i know they're working on them guys are busy they're doing their thing but you haven't really heard anything more about the test now uh, you know i moved this to end of quarter two but there hasn't really been that many announcements about it um you know i try to hang in the discord I don't mind helping people, but sometimes it's the same questions over and over. You explain it to some people and then people, other people need to come in, act like they're experts and, and start, you know, instead of doing homework or anything like that. And guys, please don't take this the wrong way, but I just don't have time to argue with people. You know, I've done countless videos. Look, and I don't, I don't, don't take this the wrong way. I'm, and I probably shouldn't be saying this, because I know it's going to be taken the wrong way. I'm not an expert. There are people who are in this project, who are with the project, putting their own videos out and stuff like that. I, I'm, I'm not going to say what I need to say. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if I would have caught one of the last AMAs, there was an AMA recently. I missed it. I was in the middle of work. It's, it was in the middle of like a Wednesday or something like that. I missed it. Um, I know one thing that that they they have announced is that if there if if you sign up for a hex, and you know you know it's reserved for thirty days, if you wish to extend the hex longer than 30 days so you don't lose that hex. I guess if it's surrounding the busy area, some of these busy states and areas, you can reserve it for a fee. What it costs, I don't know, because I'm not going to go through all that just to press the extend. It doesn't say in this announcement. It just says, hey, you're now able to do a fee. I don't know. Um, these guys are supposed to do an AMA with me. I was told to submit questions. I submitted questions, have not heard anything more about it. It is what it is at this point. We'll see what happens. You know, I I've said before that you know I'm I'm still big in this project because what else you gonna do? I have all the SDRs, I have all the devices. It doesn't cost anything now to run it. If you're if you're already buying your your SDRs and you already have the antennas, why not roll with it? All my helium devices are that I'm planning on putting wing bits on. My new wing bits devices are all getting BHS on them. They can multi mine. Why not run wing bits at this point? Even if you can't put the the greatest setup that's out there out there, you might as well still run it. Um, I wish I wish there was more news on when testnet was at least going to start. It, but I can tell you, you know how how how. People are in crypto that if you go to test net, as soon as you go to test net a week later, they're going to be asking when's the main net. Bull market's going up. People are seeing some of these projects not doing anything as far as giving out rewards. People are going to be upset. They want to know when's main net. Projects like this that care about their project, they're going to say, we're not rushing main net to make you all happy. We're rushing main net when it's best for the project, when we know the project's ready. When we bet when we're ready to serve a customer and when that's ready, 
will go to mainnet. Can't blame him for that. You, you can't fault him for that. So just another week and we'll see what happens. Hive mapper. Nothing really more to say about this. Token did go down a decent bit. So 10% down in seven days. That's really not that bad when you compare it to what uh, some of these other projects have done. So y'all know I told y'all I already paid for the upgraded camera, which is called uh, B, I think. And I should be getting, when I finish my 2,000 kilometers, which should take me less than a month, I get 4,000 bonus. At this price right now, that bonus is 560, so I should still have $100 in my pocket, and I've already ROI'd. So for those people who have no idea if they want, if, if they want to get into this and have no idea when a camera is going to come, the question is, some people have told me, they just went ahead and used that money to buy the token. I can't fault them for that. As long as the token does go up, you hope it does go up in the bull market. You know, I don't know. Um, but I'm not really seeing the videos I once was two months ago when everybody was claiming how great these bonuses, how these rewards were. I don't know what the rewards are right now. That has me a tad worried. Are people doing that because they don't have codes to give out? And Honey's not giving, Hot Maverick's not giving them codes? I don't know. Um, or they just, people just don't want to push it, kind of like what I feel, why I feel bad about Demo. You can't push a product that's not available for months. Is, it, is that it? I don't know. Moving on to Bit Harvest. If y'all caught any of my previous videos, Bit Harvest has finally released their firmware. I can confirm I have it run. I did a video, a how to video. It's been a while since I've done one of those, and it works. That's, that's all I can tell y'all. It works. Um, they've added Cure Coin. I don't want to go into a lot of detail. I know this video is going way long, and I am exhausted if y'all can't tell. Um, the long weekend and so we got cure coin running i had two devices that are on pioneer which was like their first 100 licenses that they released those don't have cure coin on them so basically i have to download the new firmware go out and swap those cards out and then once i do that those pioneer devices will be the full device like that's available now so i'll be able to run cure coin on it some of those devices are on the same external. So what I have learned is I've started messing with honey gain and pawns because if they're going to be on the device, why not? So I've enabled honey gain. I've got 262 of those already and I've enabled pawns and I've enabled cure corn on the one device I could for right now. What I've learned though is that Honey Gain can only be, you up to Honey Gain, you're allowed 10 devices on your account, but only one per IP, external IP. So, y'all know if y'all follow me at all that I have several of these devices on the same IP that I paid my service provider for. That's what I have my, you know, where, where I can get it to. I have, um, they route it for me. And some of these remote locations or host locations have that network but it all has one external ip it has a router big one big router somewhere that gives me local ips but it has one external ip for that so i can only run honey gain on one of those i can only run pawns on one of those now those devices i have like at home that have well i don't have a bit harvest one there but eventually i will because i have a wing bits one there every place that has a wing bits or helium is going to have bit harvest Two different devices at home, I can be able to convert it into one. But I can be able to run honey games and pawns on that one because that's going to be a different external IP. Where I have this at a certain other host location, I'll be able to run it. So honey game, pawns is something we're starting to mess with. I'm not expecting to make a lot of money. It looks like it's going to be pennies and pennies and pennies a day. Um, if that, but again, if the Bit Harvest device can run four or five passive income projects off of one pie, why not run it? it? It doesn't make sense not to. So, you know, instead of just running one helium, now I can run five or six projects off of it. Why not do it? Plus, what's 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 coming in the future? Now, one thing about Bit Harvest is that a few people have have 
have talked to me about, y'all know me, I'm friends with these guys, but y'all also know my channel that I'm going to call it like it is. There are some people who are not fond or are just going to hold back and wait. Right now, BitHarvest is doing this one step at a time. And because this is a full brand new alpha release or gold release, as I used to call it, they're only doing right now the, the platinum edition or whatever the, they call that premium edition where it costs a little bit more money and but it, it comes with remote access and comes with all the projects um and that's that way they can monitor it better make sure that the release is working correctly and everything like that and then what those people have told me what, what those people have told me is they're waiting for the simple edition or the standard edition where they paid a one-time $17 fee or $18, $19 fee. It's a one-time fee, and it's yours for good. And they can't help you if you're having issues with it because they can't remote into it, but that's what you're paying the $17 one-time or $19 one-time fee for. What these guys are telling me is they're aware that you know people are waiting on that, and that will be coming soon. They wanted to get this first one done, make sure it gets tested, make sure it gets ready. But, you know, um, you got people who still ask me the same question over and over again. You know, what kind of ROI are you going to get uh, on BitHarvest? You can't ask that question. This is just strictly a firmware to be able to manage your projects. With Helium, some Helium do have a, a dashboard. But this is a dashboard that you can run all that stuff on. And from one dashboard, if you check my previous videos, you can see it. But you'll be able to... to check on your wing bits you check on your helium and you can see your tar 1090 from wing bits you can see your explorer from helium you can run your honey gain and you can run your pawns you can run cure coin and you can run those five projects crank should be coming back at some point i'm not 100 familiar with that i don't do crank i don't know anything about crank um things one x that support is on there. I don't run things one X either because they're not on board in the United States yet. That's on hold for some reason. So I can't, but eventually, so, I mean, if you get crank on there and you get things one X on there, now you're running seven projects off of one device. And that is what the beauty of bit harvest is. So if you haven't seen those videos, please go back and check those videos. Um, we even did an airdrop at the end and, it's been three days and only two people have qualified for it. I'm trying to give money away and people just don't even want to go through it. So that that airdrop will not be going on much longer. I can tell you that right now. It's not going to be something I'm going to be holding on to forever. So it is what it is. GeoNet, like this video went on long enough. Y'all have heard me talk about that. The problem with GeoNet is I saw a video talk about how great these rewards are, making $12 a day. Guy I really, really, really respect. And I had many people after I did my update last Monday talking about I'm probably going to get in the GeoNet. I really was hesitating because of $600 for device, but hey, at $12 a day, that sounds like something to get to. Um, I had to go update it. The GeoNet token is... 21 cents right now down 20 percent just like a lot of these other projects i don't fault geodent for that they can't control the price of their coin um but it's down 18 percent was at 26 percent last week down 21 percent today but my question is are you still making 12 dollars a day with the price coming down i don't know exactly how many coins you're making a day with this with the satellite miner and all that um but I had many, many people tell me rewards are going to be having in July. Now, before anybody, any of y'all start contacting me going crazy, sometimes halvings are good. Look at Bitcoin's halvings. Look at Helium's halvings. Yes, after Helium halved, you know, for a short time, the price went up a lot. I don't think they had anything to do with halving or anything like that. What's going to happen with GeoNet? I don't know. I'm just bringing you all the information. Some of y'all have told me y'all getting in the GeoNet. Some of y'all have told me. That yes, y'all rewards y'all in GeoNet and G. If I'm pronouncing it right, I hope I am. GeoNet is doing great for y'all. Several of y'all have said that this because y'all weren't in the high map or nothing like that. But 
This has been one of your greatest rewards. I wish I would have got into it. I can admit that to y'all. I wish I got into it when I first learned about it, not wasting my time last year with that other crap project. And I wish I would have got into this, took my IOT. And look, I can still do that now. I have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of IOT. I, I worry about the heaven rewards. And this might be another one of my many bad calls by not really getting into this or jumping into this, making it now. Um, but for those who are in it, congratulations. I've had many of y'all reach back to me after that last, because last week, I think it was the first vi video I did about GeoNet because it got brought to my attention. And many of y'all reached out saying, it's great. Great rewards. I'm happy for y'all. Y'all all ride on y'all's devices, even though they were $600, 600 plus for a device. Good job. Keep collecting them. And y'all win because I called that one wrong. It's not that I called it wrong. I just didn't get involved in it. You know, I didn't tell anybody not to. But, um... We'll see. We'll see what happens with the having rewards. Again, that could be a positive for the project. It was for some other projects. It could be positive for y'all too. Y'all might be able to win on that also. So good luck to those in it. I'm just still trying to build this computer and I just I just can't swallow that six hundred dollars right now. So we'll see. Fry miner, I, I I keep this in here just because as many people who have asked me about it, again, it's another project I'm passing on. And I've had people who, again, are telling me Fry Miner has been very good to them, even though the coins is down again, even more. You know, one time we were at a full penny. And when it when it's a full penny. What I did. When it's a full penny. The rewards, you don't get the bonus like you normally would get. So you just get the regular rewards. And then now that it has dropped back under a penny, you're back getting the reward bonus rewards and stuff like that or whatever it is so now you've really fell under a penny this still bothers the mess out of me i don't know why but for an established project that you have why they can't do the, what they need to do to get on coin market cap it just i could be a hundred percent wrong and i'll say i'm wrong but this just throws a flag up to me why can't y'all do what's necessary to get on coin market cap if y'all want to be taken as a legit project? Y'all are on coin coin gecko and coin gecko has y'all down eleven percent for the month, seven eleven percent for seven. Well, and that's another thing. If you look, coin gecko does not update as you click seven days and for a month. So they they're probably down way more than that in a month. Because in a month ago, they were almost at two cents, and now they are down to half a cent you know you try to go to even to trading view and you type fry in here and only these rap ones show up and you can't figure out what it is either on here i'm not messing with it so in closing i know this is a long video a lot of ranting as usual seems to be the i, I you know there's a part of me that there's no reason even for me to really keep doing these videos every week but y'all seem to this is these weekly passive income roundup type of videos seem to do well in the views which tells me y'all are watching them it does well in the, the watch time so it tells me y'all are watching them um people will either just like every other one will complain about me raining too much and going off on my little tangent and some people say that's what they come here for because they like when i start acting like that i, I don't know it's just me being real it, I have to, I'm trying to kind of curtail the negativity because yes, I'm pointing out the negativity to some of these projects, but I'm still in support of them. So I have to try. It's just hard that when there's not something positive going on right now with Weather XM, how do I talk positive about them? When there's nothing positive that's actually being said about wing bits, there's no new positive news. Doesn't mean I am negative on wing bits. Or I'm giving up on wing bets. I am full bore into wing bets. There's just nothing new that's nothing new that's come up in the last week, other than you can reserve your hexes. Um, you don't see the negativity in wing bets Discord like you see in Nadix, Silencio, Modus, and some of the stuff like that. That also doesn't mean I'm not giving up on any of those projects right now. I, I said last week where I might be is 
on modus and say Nadix. When I'm only running down the street now to go take care of something, I'm not going through all the. By the time I go through my app to get everything situated, I'm already at the location I'm at. Where before I would have made sure I did that, I'm not getting paid. Yes. Like I said last week, I hate to rehash this again. I'm a big boy. I understand that when those do get converted to points and money, I might miss out on some on a couple of cents, a couple of dollars. I'm a big boy. I, I can I can accept that. I've did many videos on this. I've said this many, many times. I have I am getting feedback. This is not just me being negative. This is me getting feedback saying this. But at some point, people start, even though they're into these projects that take the chance early, hoping for another helium. That, that's what I call it. Another helium type event. Where when you get in early, you can pay off houses. People are getting in. But at some point, it's not passive income. It's not passive when you have to constantly fiddle with this project. Also, you don't want to keep fiddling with a project that you're not getting paid for. And that's just, that's what boils down to the truth. Yes, before anybody starts wanting to rant in my comment section, I understand some of y'all do that. Hey, that's why I got into it. I like to fiddle with things and I want to take the chance of being another helium. But at some point, life becomes overwhelming and you just don't want to do it, you know, or you don't do it as much. And I'm, and, and here I am again running on. So that is the update for the week. I don't know what else to say. You know, as far as DeFly, I wish it would go away. You will never have to hear me talk about it again. The fact that they keep pushing themselves as a legit project when it could have been a very, very good project is just disappointing to me. Um, and I can't wait to see what the excuse is now for, for that Twitter. I'm sure this was none of their fault and I'm wrong and or it's me and three other guys it's fault that the project doesn't succeed um because we talk negative and as if that establishes the whole business and the entire world sees my my videos or something so i'm getting hangry because it's getting late so everybody i just dropped a outdoors video on my outdoor channel if y'all haven't seen that channel please go to it it is really struggling in subscribers even though people wanted to see those type of videos um just me and my son spend the day together on saturday or the weekend riding some four wheelers along the mississippi river throwing some fishing poles in the pond he was a little more successful than i am so that upset me also but um it, it's it's nice to watch your son grow up to become a man for those who have been there before, when I can remember bringing him fishing for the first time, him riding small enough to ride on the four wheeler with me. And now he is doing those things in his own, getting on his four wheeler, riding to the pond, fishing on his own, knowing what to use for fish, catching fish, catching bass, and knows his way behind the river and knows the trails and all the stuff like that that i used to know a long time ago with him i haven't been back there in a while because life has been too busy and now he knows that stuff it's just i'm very if anybody knows me about family i'm a very nostalgic person like that my kids mean the world to me despite what people joke around about i told my kids they never have to move out because i couldn't imagine my kids moving out of state or something like that when they get older um and it's just i'm, I'm very that's just me so check those videos out. Talk to a guy today. We'll be doing some fishing videos. I know I said that last year, but with stuff going on, it didn't. We will, with the schedule change at work and stuff that's happened, I will be doing some fishing videos and stuff like that. But I'll be in the Discord trying to keep up with everything going on in this crypto world and watching videos for myself, forwarding it to y'all. I know um, I have a video that I want to get done soon about the Cure Coin, I think that's an awesome project if y'all haven't looked into that. Um, it's something I really, really want to get involved in. Learned about it late last week. And I'm telling you, I am going to be very big into Cure Coin, even if I don't make a dime off of it. And that's one thing after this rant I just had, it's hard for me to say how I, I don't care if I don't make a dime off Cure Coin. It's going to a great cause, and I will have videos on that. They've also said that they wanted to do an AMA video with me. Um, so we'll see how that goes also. So I can bring that information to y'all also, but 
I've rambled on long enough. This video is probably way too long. I'll put chapters in it at some point so y'all can skip around. Y'all have questions, drop them in the comments. My email's in the in the description. And y'all need anything, holler. And good luck to everybody. Happy Easter from yesterday to everybody. And we'll get through this bull market together. Have a good one.